Hello, I got Jungle Boogie, Mars Brewings Pale Wheat Ale with rooibos tea. It also uses mosaic hops, or I assume they haven't changed to the recipe. Um, I've had this many times over the years, and it looks like I haven't done a review of just the regular Jungle Boogie. There's Double Jungle Boogie, there's a bunch of fruit flavored ones, and um, even though it's know, pretty well known as like Mars is their, their most popular beer, they do so many different ones. Um, maybe it's not their most popular anymore. Pale wheat ales just aren't aren't very sexy, but this one is unique because it used mosaic back when um, it wasn't that commonly seen, and also putting it in a pale wheat ale with rooibos tea. Really interesting idea. It's 5.7% alcohol. I got this from Mars's spot, the uh, Life on Mars Community Center, is what they call it. Kind of near Logan Square in Chicago. <clears throat> and there's no date on this can, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty fresh. That's one thing that I struggle with in Chicago is to easily find really fresh, hoppy beers. And this one's not super hoppy. It's still definitely a pale wheat ale, but it's much more hoppy than 312 or um, Oberon or, you know, stuff like that. And you can see that it's got a little bit of haze, but it's got a kind of a darkish red color. Almost looks like a creek or something. It's not that intense red. And if, you, if it catches the light, it's more of like an amber, but they don't use any amber malts or anything. It's just from the tea. Um, Let's do it. And it has those like slightly toasty, earthy, sweet notes from the rooibos. Which I haven't had rooibos in a long time. I used to like it more when I drank tea more. Um, but it really mixes with the berry-like notes from um, the mosaic really well. It smells... It's pretty similar to hibiscus, but not as like tangy and tart. It's almost like strawberry and almost blueberry, but not quite. <sighs> Raspberry, it smells a little bit like a berry iced tea. Peach, I guess peach, yeah. It's, it's kind of somewhere between <clears throat> berries and peach but in a slightly different way than just mosaic by itself is. And it smells like it's going to be pretty sweet. And it smells fresh and, and really good. Mm. And it is quite sweet. But there, there's some bitterness. It might, it's in part maybe from just like the tannins from the tea. And also some bitterness from the hops. Um, but some people who claim to not like hop hoppy beers at all might still like this one, especially, I mean, if you like strong brewed tea with with sweetener, this is kind of similar. Yeah, I wonder if the aroma is starting to mellow out a bit in this. It's probably like two months old can or something. I mean, it's, it's smelling fine, totally, but it's not explosive. I wonder if they would ever think of doing like a series of dry hopped jungle boogie or maybe it is dry hopped lightly with um with mosaic because they have all these fruit versions some of the fruit ones have been really good when i was there all i had was triple jungle boogie that wasn't very fresh and i, I don't want something that's like 10 percent. and then they had tamarind jungle boogie and and i could have tr I, maybe i could have at least tried that one but tamarind is a strong flavor um i like it in pad thai and maybe a, a tamarind soda is, is fun. It's like a s sweet and sour type thing, but it's a strong flavor. I don't know if it would work well with this. Uh, it's just a little bit of a kind of woody, earthy bitterness in there. And the finish drying things out. Otherwise, it's berry peach iced tea. It does not have any caramely flavor, um, anything like that you, you might think from, look at this color. It doesn't taste like a Vienna lager 
doesn't have that. And of course, it's an ale. So the yeast, ale yeast seems like it's pretty clean here. It's just kind of letting the the hops and, and tea shine. I don't think they're using like hazy New England IPA style yeast. Maybe they are, excuse me, but that's not really what this beer is about. It's just a really good creative take on pale wheat ales, which when this is born, were super popular. 312 in Chicago, I guess it's still popular, obviously. Um, over on, <clears throat> seems like a lot of a lot of those like wheat beers are more of a regional thing. Like Boulevard has an unfiltered wheat beer that they stopped destroying around beyond Kansas, where yeah, Kansas City is that where Boulevard's from? Yeah, it's still available there. But there, yeah, there are a lot of breweries where they have like kind of a simpler kind of flagshipy type beer for the local market. They don't ship around; they only ship the interesting stuff. And Mars used to ship some contract brewed stuff to New England, but they gave up on that. If you can find this fresh, it's it's very unique beer, very, really well made. It's it's clean. There's nothing really wrong with it. I guess for a wheat beer, it, it's it doesn't have as much of a soft feel. Maybe the pe the tea does offer a teeny bit more tartness and tannic quality to it, especially as you drink it. But if you're into iced tea, that might be your thing. Um, at least like real home brewed iced tea, not drinking some uber sweetened can, can of, you know, mass produced stuff. Although it's not that far off from, from the, the end of a brisk iced tea, the Lipton brisk, I used to like those a lot. Um, but great beers, I mean, I would give it a four and a half, honestly. If I could get this fresh. Occasionally, I would buy it all the time. Um, that's it.